Hi, I'm Rachel Stopper, and I'm a dancer with the Scranton Civic Ballet Company. I started dancing when I was two. My mom put me in lessons, and yeah, I mean, she always said I was really good at following directions, so here we are. She actually used to be a dancer, but not for her entire childhood, but she always loved dance, so she put me in, and yeah, I just never stopped. Pre-show rituals, no, I just, I drink coffee. <laughs> yeah, my biggest on-stage fail, I think we've all, we all know it, we've all seen it. <laughs> it's a little, <laughs> hurts a little to think back on, but yeah, it was when I was Sugar Plum Fairy, and I went to do a double attitude turn, and I went splat right in my face, in front of like a lot of people, so. Before performance, I get, I get excited, I get a little like, like energized, I get like the boost of like adrenaline, but I wouldn't say it's nerves. I feel usually prepared enough for a performance that I think whatever happens, happens. There's nothing I could do about it now, so I just go on and I just enjoy it because that's why I do it. So performing Juliet, it's the first time I ever premiered a role with the company. So I was really excited about that. And not only that, I feel like it was something different than I usually do. There was a lot more acting and it wasn't just like a big smile all the time. It was a lot of like acting and emotion more than usual. So that was different for me. So I feel like I was really able to like grow as an artist and as a dancer through that role. I wouldn't change anything about that performance. I thought it was perfect. It went really well. And I think we put a lot of work into it, and I think it paid off. Joining Civic was definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made. Not only for dance, but also just like for myself. I've grown so much as a dancer, but not only that, I feel like I've grown so much as a person here. I've met a lot of people, and I've just, I've gotten to know people. I've made a lot of connections, and I've had a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have had. For example, a couple years ago, for two years, I was able to study at the School of Philadelphia Ballet. Um, I had to audition, get in. Another opportunity I had was going to the Youth American Grand Prix. That's something that I never would have been able to do if I wasn't here at Civic because Miss Helen and Robert were able to train me, train a solo for me, that I was able to perform in front of some of my favorite dancers, New York City Ballet, like people from there, um, just people that I look up to a lot, and I was able to perform for them and on this huge stage in front of a ton of people, and it was, it was crazy. It was something I never thought I'd be able to do. I think my favorite, I have two favorite roles that I performed. I think the Sugar Plum Fairy was definitely one of them because that's been like my dream since I was a little kid, since I went to see the Nutcracker for the first time. That was really special to me to get to actually perform that role because it means so much to me. But I also did love Juliet because it was so new, it was so different than what, like anything I'd ever done before. So I think that one also has like a special place in my heart. <laughs> I think my dream role is definitely Black Swan. I've seen so many of my favorite professional dancers perform it, um, whether like on Instagram or in person. And I just, I love the choreography, I love the role, I love the idea of it. It's again, something very different than what I've done before. So it's, it's much darker, it's much like sharper, it's just a different vibe. I do play an instrument. I actually play the violin, which um, I'm not that involved in it because I'm always here at the studio. With Miss Helen, I feel like it's actually all about the little moments. Like if we're going across the floor doing an exercise and you finish the exercise and you're standing there, if she looks at you and gives you a wink, like you know you did that exercise well. I mean, there's so much I could say about Miss Helen, but she's definitely like a second mother figure to everyone here. We're all here so much. She's constantly supporting us, even though she's hard on us, um, but she'll never let us fail. Like, she'll push us to the next level, even if it takes a lot, but she, she's not gonna give up on anyone. She's always gonna be there for you, no matter what. My favorite food is sushi. <laughs> That's a tough question, though. Like, I do like a lot. 